Hey, y'all. So some of you have heard Mark and Shelly Jensen on the typical subject, and I believe they're going to be there in June. Um, I might jump on with them and do some readings or have some fun. But um, and then I think I'll be on end of May on typical subject. But anyway, um, wanted to introduce you to their beautiful, peaceful sound healing. This um, this particular sound healing to me is kind of a galactic piece. Um connecting to your inner stillness, connecting to silent mind vibe to it. So um, this will be available once I get with it later today, hopefully, and get it up on the Etsy store in its entirety. But I thought I'd give you a sample um, so you can see how wonderful it feels to sit under this. So again, hope to have this up on the Etsy store uh, for a relatively reasonable price. Um, just have to do some editing and get it up there. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think and enjoy, you know, yeah. sound healing. And of course they can speak to this so much better than I can, but sound healing is really so amazing to me for aligning the energy in the heart line, opening and adjusting the chakras, clearing your environment, which of course this is going to go into your environment, clearing your energetic field, um, awakening hope um awakening memory like what does what can it do since we're all like color and sound so this is just kind of um both my gift and their gift to you um just as a little mini surprise um things are kind of rough out there and weird out there and um I don't want to contribute to a negative timeline I know you guys don't either so I just thought this was just a really cool I don't know what they have planned but I know it's going to be magical and then um They'll share a little bit more about what they do, and you can take advantage of that on your private time. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started because this could end up being kind of a lengthy, happy lengthy class. So I'll turn it over to you guys if that's okay. Perfect. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I just want to reiterate a little bit what Kimberly said with sound healing, and, you know, as we really tap into our soul selves, the sound really raises the vibration so our bodies naturally align with that higher vibration. So it's a really nice way to recenter yourself, to clear and just, you know, as she was talking about, or we'll talk about shedding emotion, you know, from the earthly life. So we're going to play for about 40 minutes right in there. So get yourself comfortable in a place where you can relax and that you feel comfortable laying down for a little bit or sitting and we'll go ahead and get started yeah so um we're just just to reiterate the the sound uh is so important um because it's a subcomponent of vibration and your body wants to vibrate at a certain level and um as Dr. Kimberly can tell you far better than I, there's a lot out there that's working against your natural vibration. Um, and so the beauty of sound healing is to bring you back to where you're supposed to be. And, and I think given all the work that you're doing around emotion, um, there's an emotional place we want to be and there's an emotional place we don't want to be. But, but all of these emotions serve us in one form or another, but ultimately they need to bring us back to where we're supposed to be. And, and so our goal tonight is to do two things, is to provide you a, a relaxing way to get back to your natural state, but also to connect the dot to emotion because we know how important that is. We're not just thinking beings, we're feeling beings and we want, we want our thinking and our feeling to work in harmony. So our, our intuition and our intention tonight really is to bring our, our thought approach and our feeling approach back to center. Um, and I think that will contribute to greater dialogue as to uh, how you approach emotion and how to benefit from it and then how to how to steer away from the things that might not be serving you where they should. So, so uh, I would just uh, invite everybody at this point, uh, back to Shelly's point, get comfortable. Uh, you're welcome to, to stay seated. If, if you wanna lie down, that's fine. Uh, whatever whatever is most comfortable. We won't be on camera most of the time, so there won't, won't really be much to watch, but plenty to hear. So I'd, I'd encourage you just to close your eyes so you can, you can truly relax um, and have the best possible experience. So um, I'll just let Shelly kind of set some intention with the forks and away we go.
you may hear some natural sounds. Uh, we have a, a delightful little dog and kitty who occasionally participate, so they may contribute, you never know. So you're just allowing the, the, the tone from those forks, that beautiful harmonic tone to reach deep inside you. This is a good time just to start to breathe um, and be intentional about your breath. Know that you're breathing and don't just breathe out of habit. So let's knowingly breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Just allow that breath to be intentional. One more breathing in. Breathing out. I recommend breathing in through the nose, breathing in, out through the mouth. One more like this, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Your breathing should flow. It shouldn't be a forced experience. Knowing that you're breathing isn't the same as forcing yourself to breathe. It should be a natural, easy, fluid motion. I say fluid because we want to be water. We want to be able to flow and maneuver. So as we breathe in, breathe in like water. Flowing out, breathing out like water. Nice and smooth. Relaxed in and out. I don't know nearly any of you as well as I should. Um, Shelly may or may never have shared. I have a prior martial art experience. I rely on those skills and those philosophies routinely. And um, Bruce Lee is someone many of us as martial artists looked up looked up to <clears throat> not just for his technique but for his philosophy and he had a strong philosophy around water and that we should be like water we should be water water is powerful water is hard water is iron water can break things down but water is fluid and supple and moves and it can be the teacup when it fills the teacup when you watch a river flow down the canyon. It knows how to get around obstacles. It may choke briefly at a rock, but it knows how to redirect and flow so that water can continue to move. As we focus on our emotional journey in your class tonight, remember to be like water. Your emotions don't have to stick or keep you stuck in place. You can flow through your emotion and let your emotions be water. And in that moment, break the rock so that they can continue to flow and move along. So as you absorb this sound and you absorb the music this evening, absorb the flow, absorb the water. Be water, my friend, as Bruce Lee would say, be water.
Thank you.